the shrinker. It does that, this procedure does that as well as also what this balloon does. It fills with water through this catheter. Mm -hmm. And let's think of your prostate like this. And it's going to expand your prostate and it's going to open it up. So this is dilating that tract. And so it's going to shrink and also dilate. So there's a microwave cable that comes through this catheter just like the water does. So it does two things. Shrinks the prostate and dilates it open so you have a tract that urine flows back and forth freely. It really uh, makes it a lot easier. So, This is the catheter we're going to use for the treatment. It's a, it has a microwave antenna inside here. And it, this part is a balloon that will stretch the prostatic urethra. And there's a balloon here that holds the catheter in place. So I'm going to insert that into the patient's bladder. And once it's all secure, we connect it to the microwave machine and do the treatment. So this is a rectal probe that we're going to put in and it has thermocouples. It has temperature sensors right there. And what it does, you don't want this temperature in the prostate to get too hot and extend into the rectum. So this will be situated right next to the prostate, which will be in front of it. And these sensors will sense the temperature. If it gets too hot, then the machine will automatically turn off. So we cover this up, of course, and stick this into the rectum of the patient. So we already know the rectal temperature is already working. We already know it's inside his rectum. The temperature has gone up. They were at 23, and these are degrees Celsius. So now they've gone up without any microbe energy. So for this patient and any patient, it doesn't make a difference. We can't see anything on the inside. So I do everything based on this machine. And like I said before, everything from this machine is based on what's going on with this patient's anatomy. The machine is safe. Um, it's effective and it has safety mechanisms to make sure that it doesn't harm the patient. But now we know the treatment started, the setting's at 45, so it's a 45 minute treatment. So what we're going to do in the next four minutes is we're going to fill his bladder up with water. We want to make sure, proofs in the pudding is what I say, um, fill his bladder up as much as we possibly can before he pops and have him void after that to make sure that the procedure we, we feel worked. So what it's doing is there's no water that's coming through that balloon right now. Now it's just air. So what we're doing is we're filling it up, opening it up, stopping it. The power started at 20. The temperature's actually started at 33, if you remember. Mm -hmm. So this is the heating, this is the prosthetic te temperatures right here. Once one of these three sensors hits 41, this will back itself off. So it's trying to find it. It's trying to, like I said, cook that, heat that prostate, destroy that tissue. And you can see that's what's happening. So I can watch here. It's going up. These are the rectal temperatures. So I can watch here and here. I watch here the most. And then this is my watch. Got up here, it's max at 50. So if the temperatures get up right here to 42, which is too hot, it shuts the machine off. The power goes off. The red light goes off. Everything stops. We start it back up again once the temperatures fall down to 41.3. So.